Welcome to South Sound Seniors, a program for and about older adults in our community. I'm really excited the guests that we have on tonight not only are beautiful, but they're great gals. But before we get started, I want to say a huge thank you to TCTV, to all the volunteers and the staff here that make it possible for us to come into your home. We always partner with Senior Action Network every other month, and this is the month that we're partnering with Senior Action Network. So we have some members of Senior Action Network, and we have Deanna Joyner. Welcome, Deanna. Thank you. You bet. And we have Karen Donnelly. Welcome, Karen. Hello, Heidi. And thank you for filling me in on your last names. I, <laughs> we go to the Senior Action Network meetings monthly, and sometimes I run into you at other times, and we all are on a first-name basis, so I had to drill that into my brain. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you have a business called Smooth Transitions, which is a great name. And you've been a part of SAN now for a number of years. Mm -hmm. yes. A couple of years. A couple, couple of years. years. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be talking to the SAN group and doing some other speaking engagements around the community. So mm -hmm. for those folks in our television audience that won't get to hear you talk, tell me, and you can fill me in a little bit on what does Smooth Transitions do? Okay, well, we're a move management company, mm -hmm. and we help seniors is our basic people that we work with, and we help them do relocation, but we also can help them downsize, or we can help them stay in their homes, help them um, look at some safety issues to stay at home safely. Mm -hmm. So we do just a variety of things for seniors. Okay, so you'll help go in, and if they're just kind of scattered, disorganized, you can just help them organize yes. and live better where they are. Yes. Or if they're moving, maybe they've been in the big family home for years and all of the stuff their kids left there when they moved out. Yeah. You'll help them move to a smaller place, yes. other mm -hmm. smaller mm -hmm. house or an apartment. Mm -hmm. And then I assume you also help people move to some kind of a assisted living or retirement community. Correct. Mm -hmm. Correct. Mm -hmm. Is there any one over the other that's more frustrating or do they all have their... <laughs> Well, they say the people that live in the homes, they have like four generations of things in the homes. Uh -huh. So the homes are probably the ones that take the most time. So mm -hmm. they're the most challenging, but the most interesting, I yeah. think, yeah. than any of the other places. Yeah. Um, that's what we really like doing is helping them decide what they can take and focusing on the move and getting a new start. Yeah. A new start. Uh -huh. That's what we really enjoy doing. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we find when they move to communities mm -hmm. that they eat better. They socialize, mm -hmm. they get around other people, they're having fun, they're doing more activities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we really enjoy moving them to communities. So you know they're gonna be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Taken care of. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, Deanna, how did you get into this uh, move management business? Well, it's a really new concept out here on this coast. Back east, it's very popular. Mm -hmm. But what happened was I was looking for something to do and for the rest of my life, what was I going to do? <laughs> what business? Mm -hmm. And um, I heard about a move management company up north that helped move seniors. And it was just like, that is it. That fits all the criteria of everything that I, I want in a business. And I came home. I started looking on the internet to see what was around here. Um, couldn't find anything like that around here. But I found Barbara Morris back in Kentucky who trains senior oh, move managers. Interesting. And yeah, so then my friend Patty said, uh, I think Karen might be interested in something like that. And so I called Karen, told her about this, you know, sites, and, and we got together, talked to Barbara, made our appointment to go back for training. Mm -hmm. So within a couple of weeks, we were back in Kentucky getting training, and that was invaluable. Totally. Really? Just that was wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Well, what What's a few th nuggets that you learned while you were there? If it, it's not a trade secret. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a trade secret. Uh, well, working with seniors is a lot different than just working with anybody. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, one of the things is, is, uh, is the patience level. You know, we step in and we're not called the enemy, the family, because, uh -huh. you know, we don't tell them what they can and cannot do. Right. We're kind of their advocate, so we're able to spend time with them. So we look at the senior individually. Um, and we're able to talk to them about the things that they want to take or the things that aren't real important to them. 
everything has a story. And yeah. so we get to listen to all the stories uh -huh. and we love that part of it. Um, and then they're able to sometimes let go of a lot of those things once they've told the story. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then we're able to look at the new place they're moving into. We design that and we're able to, to know exactly how much stuff they can take. So we can say, mm -hmm. Betty, you know, this probably is not going to fit where mm -hmm. you want to put it. Um, it would just go in a closet. Are you okay with that? Um, and if they are, then we let them take it. Mm -hmm. It's there's yeah. things, you know. Um, their family and friends sometimes look at it as junk and stuff, but uh -huh. we know that they're treasures and memories. Mm -hmm. And right. so we like to preserve that as much as we can. So that's yeah. kind of one of the, the big things to us is working yeah. with the seniors. Well, and I'm sure many people are moving usually after months, sometimes years of their family saying, you know, you're not safe, you got to move, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. So they have kind of almost set up a, mm -hmm. a resistant, resistant yeah. relationship. So yeah. I'm, yeah. that it is really nice when you come in and, and yeah. are on their side. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So um, what do you do when you first go in to meet somebody? How do you kind of know it's going to be a good fit with that? individual or family that you're going to be helping out? Well, we spend time with them. I mean, we sit down with them and ask them what they're, what they want. Uh -huh. You know, what, do they know where they're going? Mm -hmm. You know, is really the first thing. Do they know where they're going? And, you know, we're into the very personal things. So <laughs> we develop as much a rapport as we can with them. Mm -hmm. And a lot of that is with them telling us stories, telling right. them about, having them tell us about their life, mm -hmm. you know, and, and so we just make friends with them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, and we go visit them after we move them. Mm -hmm. We go visit them where they're at. We send them cards for their birthday and, oh, you know, sweet. they kind of become our family. A lot of seniors have no family, <laughs> no, yeah. no kids to help them, you know, and it, yeah, so we we step in to yeah. fill that role, and a lot of times um, they need more than just help with the move. Mm -hmm. They they yeah. do need to know where they're going to go, and so we can help them by tying in to somebody who's going to to help them go figure visit that out. And yes, figure it out. yes, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and so then you once the place is decided where they're going to move, you actually can go in and measure and mm -hmm. see mm -hmm. how their things mm -hmm. are going to fit mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. new space. Right. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. That's huge. And, you know, I think I, my mother moved to my home. We put an uh, apartment in downstairs for her. And fortunately, she had myself and my brother and sister to help with that. But she, even with that, my mom was totally overwhelmed. My mother mm -hmm. probably lived in 15 different houses in her lifetime. Every move, she moved from Massachusetts to Alaska, didn't even miss a beat. She was very organized, like mm -hmm. I think you ladies are. <laughs> and she just didn't miss. But when she was 87 years old, yeah. just the idea of moving, even though she knew she had us to order around and tell what yeah. to do, mm -hmm. it was overwhelming for her. So mm -hmm. I can imagine. Some yeah. of your clients just don't know where to start. Right. They yeah. don't. They don't. And oh, that's our tagline, overwhelmed with moving. We yeah. have that in the senior news uh -huh. <laughs> because you, that's the first thing. It's just like, they, like where do I start? Uh -huh. You know, even though they, need, they know they need assistance mm -hmm. or they need to downsize that they can't take care of the home anymore, or they can't do the things they used to do, right. the everyday tasks are becoming more difficult. Mm -hmm. They just don't know where to start. And right. so um, when they get a hold of our phone number, you know, they say, you know, how much do you cost and what do you do? And, and so we kind of go back to what do you need? Mm -hmm. And um, we start there and just kind of feel them out. You know, what do they really need? Uh -huh. um, are they really prepared? to make the move also, you know. Sometimes there's some loose ends with some things that they need to do that they're really not ready to move at that point. Maybe mm -hmm. they just need to downsize a bit, make things a little bit safer for, for a period of time. Mm -hmm. So it just depends right. on the person. We just individually 
talk with them. We spend an hour, we do an hour free consultation, so we spend an hour with them just meeting them, looking around their house, mm -hmm. um, asking them questions about themselves, yeah, you know, how long they've been in the area, what they do, mm -hmm. if they have any family, and those types of things. Just getting ourselves familiar with what their needs are. Right, right. Yeah. So then you two are, I know you're both very strong and you work out, but I imagine <laughs> you're not actually the ones lifting the dressers and the beds and the couches. No, we, we hire the mover. Okay. And there is um, one particular mover who doesn't do any packing. Okay. So we do do the packing uh -huh. and the unpacking. Okay. Um, when we do a move, we focus on packing what they're going to take with them. Mm -hmm. And then on move day, we go first thing in the morning and we get their, strip their bed, get that ready, things from the kitchen, last minute things, mm -hmm. pack those up, meet the movers there. And then they take the stuff to the new place and we are there. And one of us is unpacking, the other one is directing the move where the furniture is going to be placed. Mm -hmm. and. And um, so we're busy the whole time. And then we've made the bed. And a lot of times the, the senior will come and rest, take a nap while we're unpacking. Uh -huh. So they're never displaced. They're mm -hmm. in, you know, they're in their it place that day. It feels like day. home because they have yes. their stuff yeah. around. Yeah, they have their stuff. Chaotic yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. and we get most of it unpacked mm -hmm. the first day. If we have to come back the next day, you know, it's just to do some particular, uh -huh. you know, odds and ends. But we try to get the, the small kitchenette set up. We try to get the bathroom and their bedroom set up so uh -huh. they are functioning. We make sure mm -hmm. everything is out of the way so they can actually stay there. And make it look like home, yeah. you know, that's yeah. what's really exciting, just to make it look at home. And we, we get excited because we see their things in a new place and we go, doesn't everything look new? Yeah. Even yeah. though it's not new, it, it looks new because right. it's placed in a different surrounding and uh -huh. in a safer surrounding. And then we always explain to them too that, you know, we don't do a lot of rugs, we don't, mm -hmm. you know, do a lot of outlet things and, mm -hmm. and that type of thing, because we don't want them to have to move again or move anything else out Mm -hmm. So we kind of keep everything so they can get around. If, if they're not walking with a walker now or they're not using uh, motorized, something motorized, they may be in the future. So we really so you kind of look at that. With safety issues mm -hmm. and yes. with mobility yes. issues. Because yes. yeah. mm -hmm. we, we don't want to make it harder for them. We want to make it easy for them. And then when, as they're transitioning, again, you know, mm -hmm. physically, it, we want to make that sure that that happens for them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. So then they've moved and you've helped them move, but what about all the other stuff back at the house that they that didn't move with them? Uh. <laughs> fun. <laughs> <laughs> that's the fun part. Well, and there's a lot of different ways to, to take care of the stuff that's left over. And, and we're kind of, we remember, remember that out of sight, out of mind. So once mm -hmm. they're moved, they're not really as concerned with it as they are when they're there. Right. And that's why we like to try to get the seniors to move first, because if they're moving with the things that they know that they need, not mm -hmm. necessarily the things that they want, then it's easier to let go of some of those things. <coughs> and um, so we have a lot of places like the senior estate store yeah. that will come, <laughs> come pick up things. We have, we have um, a church in town that has a furniture bank that they will pick mm -hmm. things up and they will distribute it to people that, that need it. Um, so there's a lot of areas if they want to donate things. Mm -hmm. We also have estate people that we work with. So if they've got um, enough items for an estate sale, usually it has to be $5,000 or more in value. Uh -huh. um, we have an auction house that we work with that will come and pick up everything, take mm -hmm. it to the auction house, they itemize it and sell mm -hmm. it, and they take a percentage. Um, the state place also takes mm -hmm. the percentage. But there's ways to get rid of those things. Mm -hmm. And so either they want to just donate it or they want to make a little bit of money, they can do that. Mm -hmm. um, right. It's, we say you get something or you get nothing. Right. <laughs> so you kind of have yeah. to decide. Because a lot of times, you know, they have a lot of valuable things, but it's really hard because a lot of antique stores are not buying things as much as they used to. Right. Things aren't moving like they used to move. So, um, you know, we just talk to them mm -hmm. about, you know, what's, what's the way that you want to take care of it? And we give them different ideas on what they can do. Uh -huh. um, the lady we, we talked to today that we did an interview with has been giving everything away. <laughs> she has neighbors and uh -huh. friends, and she says, I'm just giving it to whoever will pick it up. Oh, that's neat. So, yeah. 
Yeah. Most of them give it away. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. really, most of them do. Yeah. I imagine it's another overwhelming thing to mm -hmm. think about yeah. selling yeah. it, unless they really have some yeah. things that they know would sell well or mm -hmm. what have you. But right. that's another thing that we do to continue with our move management service uh -huh. is that we help do the clean out. I uh -huh. mean, getting rid of all the stuff so that they can get their house on the market or whatever yeah. they need to do in, in a timely manner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Wow. Yeah. Well, I'm so glad that you two had the excitement and the passion to um, start this up here on the West Coast, because yeah. I think it's something that is definitely needed mm -hmm. as, as people downsize. And just to be clear, though, you do work with other people that aren't seniors if somebody wants to hire you, if somebody's... We do. Okay. We do. But our passion is seniors. Okay. We, we love seniors. Yeah. We just love hearing their stories. We love uh -huh. um, working with them and helping them figure out what they're going to do because they kind of need help in making decisions. Mm -hmm. So we're able to do that. And, and because we belong to SAN and some other uh -huh. networking groups in town, we're able to um, point them in the right direction. Yeah, if um, they have other services other they Other services need. they need, uh -huh. yes. Because yeah, a lot of times definitely. it's just not just the move, but as Deanna said, we help with a lot of different they things. They need us. Yeah. 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 They know, really do. Most of the younger people, they don't they don't need us. Yeah. Just, throw it yeah. in a box and throw it in the truck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do that. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. so. Well, thank you so much for taking time out and coming to TCTV studio mm -hmm. and um, getting the word out. So if um, somebody wanted to ask a question or set up an interview for you to come and talk to them, who would how would they get a hold of you? What's your number? My number is 360-459-1527. Okay. We also have a website. Okay. Which is www.movingforseniorswwa.com. Okay. Wonderful. So. It's an easy way to get a hold of you. Yes. Either website, there's a contact me button. Yes. Mm -hmm. Or phone cut number. And they could call me at senior services too, because yes. I've got your contact information. <laughs> Great. So, thank you so much. And thank I'll look you. forward to hearing the other questions that the SAN group asks you later on. Yes. Thank so, you. Um, and I'll think, oh, I should have asked them that on TV. Oh, <laughs> <Or not. yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. If I really need to, I'll ask you back and you can <laughs> okay. answer that question. All okay. Right. All right. Thanks thank so much, Deanna. Thank and you, Karen. Eileen. I really appreciate thank you. it. Yes, thank thanks you. for having us. Yes. You bet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Please stay with us. We're going to be back in just a moment with some information you're not going to want to miss. In watching South Sound Seniors, a look at the people, places, and events that impact our growing senior community here in the South Sound region. Our program is presented as a community service to inform and involve you and yours in the lives of older adults. Our program came to you through the facilities of Thurston Community Television in Olympia, Washington. We invite your comments.